guys, it's your boy King Ant and I'm back at it again with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new, welcome back. So first things first, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a day in my life as a track runner at the University of Kentucky. If you are a newcomer and you're not familiar with me and what event I run in track, I run the hurdle events, specifically indoors. I run the 60 meter hurdles and outdoors. I run the 110 meter hurdles and the 400 hurdles. So yeah, I'm a little hurdle boy. <laughs> Oh, my arms are so bad. These workouts have been getting to me, but we're gonna get into that later in the video. So with that being said, it is a new month. Today, it is October 3rd, 7.22 a.m. I don't know about you guys, but I love the fall weather. Something about fall is just chef's kiss. Everything about fall, I love it. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me, just showing you guys what my life looks like as a track runner here on the D1 level. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to class, practice, doing homework. I can't remember what else, but y'all get the point. Y'all get the point. <laughs> this bonnet makes me look like I have a mushroom on my head. That's it. I just turned on my lamp light. I kind of like this lighting better actually a little bit, but it's whatever. I'm about to go ahead and wash my teeth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Now wash my teeth, brush my teeth, and wash my face. Lego. Before I continue, this video is sponsored by The Jacket Maker. With the fall season upon us, this is the perfect time to start layering up. So why not shop at The Jacket Maker? The Jacket Maker is a brand that specializes in creating high quality unisex leather jackets for all shapes and sizes. This brand offers a variety of different luxury jackets for you to choose from, such as biker jackets, bombers, and even vintage styled pieces all at a decent price. Who doesn't like affordable luxury if you want a customized jacket say no more you as a customer can personalize your jacket by adding custom embroidery patches and distinctive designs to make your jacket unique if you are nervous about finding the right jacket size for you the jacket maker has a made to measure service which ensures you get the proper size fit jacket for you now let's talk about my jacket for a bit this jacket is a seven distressed brown leather bomber jacket this jacket has a racer like look to it with the snap button band collar and distressed goat skin leather the jacket also has a vintage look to it which i think is very cool this jacket is very comfortable and suitable for this chilly fall weather not to mention the jacket also has two inside pockets and four outside pockets if you purchase a jacket from this brand you will not only get the jacket in your package but you will also get a car air freshener that smells very good by the way and a journal if you guys are curious on how to style this jacket here is an outfit i created with the jacket as you guys can see this outfit really has a fall vibe to it i really like the way that the pants and the shoes complement the jacket if you guys are interested in this jacket or the brand in general, please go down in my description and click on the link to shop this jacket and the brand as a whole. When purchasing, please be sure to use my code that you see on the screen for a discount on your purchase. Thank you to the Jacket Maker for sponsoring today's video. Hello, hello, hello. Hola, I'm back. Well, I was never gone, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Or maybe y'all don't. Anyway, so as y'all just saw, I just brushed my teeth and washed my face. So now I'm just about to finish getting ready. But yeah, so in my last day in my life, I was talking about how I haven't seen my family in a really long time. Well, not a really long time, but like a month, right? So about two weeks ago, my family came down for a family weekend. That weekend was really, really fun. I did record like a little bit of clips, but it wasn't enough clips to make it into a vlog though. So that's why I never posted a vlog to it. But it was really nice seeing all my family members. A whole bunch of my family members came down. I'm so glad I got to see them. 
with this being like a new month of training, our training in track has like skyrocketed, bro. Not skyrocketed, but the training has went up a notch. Let's just say that. My body is very sore. I think this is week four of our training. I can't remember what week this is, but we started hurdles on Monday and boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. The hurdle training is something else, bro. It is something else. My body is so sore. Back hurts. My shoulders hurt. My calves hurt. My hamstrings hurt. Well, not hurt, but like they're sore. You know what I mean? Everything is sore, bro. Everything is sore. But I kind of like when my body is sore because that tells me that I'm putting in work for real, for real. You know what I mean? But we have hurdles again today. That's why I wanted to vlog today. Today is Thursday. I usually vlog on Mondays and Wednesdays. But since we're hurdling today, I was like, you know what? Let me vlog today. Also, with it being October, my birthday is in T minus 17 days. My birthday is October 20th. I'll be turning 19. And also, y'all want to know what's crazy? Stacy's birthday is October 18th. So our birthdays are only two days apart. She's turning 18 while I'm turning 19 though. So it's just crazy though. We're like so close and then we're also like so close birthday wise. So yeah, I'm very excited about me and Stacy's birthday because we're gonna do like a combined like birthday thing. We're gonna go to like a dinner place and yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I am debating on what I'm gonna wear for my birthday because the weather is like starting to drop a little bit. Like right now it's 52 degrees. But granted though, I'm from Maryland, so I'm kind of used to it being this cold. A lot of people, like Stacy, she's from Arizona, so like 52 degrees to her is like the North Pole. You know what I'm saying? But I do have a couple of options on things I'm gonna wear, but I'm not gonna show you guys that because obviously I'm not gonna show you guys my birthday outfit until it's my birthday. Also, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo for my birthday. Not sure what yet, but I do want a tattoo. Mom, if you're watching this video, sorry. Glasses or no glasses today? Mm, I think we're gonna do no glasses today. All right, y'all, it's outfit time. Cleo from high school. She had made me this AirPod Max case and this is what they look like. They're really cool. She really put a lot of work into these and it also says my name right there. Y'all see it says Ant right there. And I'm gonna put these on my AirPods just because I think they will match my fit and also they just look really cool. I'm not sure if she's making them right now because she is in school, but when she does start making them again, you guys can go shop with her. She's pretty talented in her work. So I'm gonna put these on my AirPods for a It's a little foggy outside today. My headphones literally are not even connected right now. I don't know what's wrong with them. My AirPods have been tripping for like the last two weeks. I really don't know what's wrong with them. It is what it is. Right now they're just on here to make my outfit look better. But look at the scenery guys. It's so like foggy outside and the leaves are changing colors too. It's really starting to look like fall out here which I love because as I said already, fall is my favorite season. Right now, I'm on my way to the cafeteria to get me some breakfast because I didn't get a chance to make it to the nutrition center today. If you didn't watch my last day in the life vlog, the nutrition center is basically just like an athlete kitchen basically where athletes can make food and stuff, but I didn't get a chance to go there this morning. Honestly, I didn't really want to go because I didn't feel like making my own food. I kind of just wanted to eat food. So I'm gonna catch y'all when I get to the cafeteria. All right, y'all, so I'm currently eating my breakfast right now. Right now, I'm eating waffles and hash browns. Honestly, it's not the healthiest thing, but as long as I get food in my system, that's really what matters. The waffles say UK on it, it's really cool. Right now, it is currently 9.04. I have class at 9.30, so the walk from the cafeteria to my first class isn't really that far, so really nothing to worry about, for real, for real. So I'm gonna leave here at around like 9.20 just to give me enough time to walk there. It is currently 
54. I just got back to my dorm from my classes. I picked up some lunch. I just got a Subway sandwich. It's just a turkey sandwich, nothing crazy. My classes today weren't too bad. I only had two classes today. My first class was ICT 200, which stands for Information Literacy and Critical Thinking. That class wasn't too bad. She was mostly just going over the project we have due next week. We have to choose a news article and create a TED Talk video about it. And we have to like edit the video and stuff and put music and like pop-ups and stuff. But you already know, I do YouTube, so it shouldn't be that bad. And my next class was MAS 201, which stands for Media Arts and Studies. And in that class, our group was just presenting their project. So yeah, today was a pretty, pretty chill class day. As I said before, it is 12 o'clock right now. Well, actually it's 12.56 right now. With that being said, I have practice at two o'clock. I'm gonna try to get to the indoor track by like 1.45, just so that I'm a little bit early. I'm actually excited for today's practice because I'm just excited to get some more hurdle work in. Those of you who aren't familiar with University of Kentucky's track program. My hurdle coach, his name is Coach Green. He's very detailed in his hurdle coaching. And just off of the first practice, I learned so much about how to like improve my technique. Granted, I still have to do more like drills and stuff, but like mentally, I was taking note of all the things he was saying. And I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm really excited about hurdling here. This sandwich is really good, but I'm gonna stop eating it now just so that I don't throw up at practice. <laughs> because that one ought to be good. I just needed to eat a little something because I haven't eaten since like what, eight in the morning? I just needed some energy before practice. I want you guys to comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see from me. I am thinking about doing a video on like how to get recruited for track because I've been seeing a lot of comments about that. And a lot of you guys have also been commenting about how to get recruited in like other sports and stuff. Now granted, I don't know much about other sports besides track on how to get recruited, but as far as track goes and for the track runners watching, this i think i can help you guys get recruited for a track but yeah just let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me along with vlogs because i really do love the vlog content i have a lot of videos in my head that i've been thinking about filming but i want to hear from y'all what videos that y'all want to see as well you know what i'm saying with that being said i'm about to go ahead and get dressed right now <laughs> So I'm ready for practice now. Got my bag, got my shoes on, got my water right here. Let's go. It's so crazy because this morning it was literally so foggy. Now it's like sunny as heck out here. Nonetheless, our outdoor track is almost finished. Thank God. But practice today should go by pretty fast, I'm thinking, because we don't have weight room after practice today. I guarantee you it's almost like 70 degrees outside right now. All right, y'all, so I'm in the track facility right now. My hurdle partner, Alex, he's not here yet, but practice starts at two, so he should be on his way. It's 1.53 right now. I'm excited to see what new stuff we're gonna learn. Hurdle day two is in full swing. Alex is here, say what's, what's up. good, yo, what's good, yo? <laughs> hurdle duo. Learn to do it, let's get it, bro. Yeah. Wait, Aisha, get in there with me. Wait, is it recording? Hi, vlog. Is it going? Oh, it's going. Hey, um, I do long jump and high jump. This is so cool. This is heavy. I'm starting my YouTube channel in like four years. Girl, what? <laughs> okay, let me stop. How do you turn this thing off? Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, Come on, Kate, get in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little Guys, after, these workouts are no joke. Kate, how was your first throw today? It was good. I'm glad. It was good. It's it's good to be back. Start of something great. We just did a 400, guys, after all that hurdle stuff. For real. It was a great hurdle session. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, a little sloppy, but we picked it up the pace. And we still have some work to do. I mean, you can't even go, you can't even go like half speed in the hurdles, but that's impossible. Yeah, you can. Well, People think it's easy. It's like a full sprint yeah, each round. Exactly. <laughs> give them some motivational words. Don't give up. <laughs> and accept adversity as it comes. Mm. Oh, my advice is put God first. Yeah, so we're about to cool down and then I'm gonna get back to y'all later. I'm tired. We just up the track. My legs are done. Same, uh, we still alive. We're barely alive. <laughs> All right, y'all, so me and Alex are about to go take an ice bath to get our bodies rejuvenated because we do have practice tomorrow, but tomorrow should be easier because we've been going hard like, all week. Well, it might still be hard. Cause last Friday, oh, we're not gonna talk about last Friday. Last Friday was crazy. Look at our wall, guys. So nice. Wanna say what's up to my vlog? Hi. How you feeling today? I feel pretty good. Guys, look who it is. Wait, oh, no. guess guys. Did you guess Stacy? Cause you're right. <laughs> We're on our way to the ice bath. Stretch. Breathe. It's this. Breathe. Bro, wait, bro. Alex, I just got please. in. Anthony, it's not even that bad. Dude. All right, guys. I just took a nap. I was very tired after practice. I took a nap, took a shower. This is what I'm wearing right now. This is what Stacy's wearing right now. Low key twinning. Right now, we're walking to get some dinner from this place called Training Table. This is basically like an athlete restaurant, I would say. University of Kentucky Athlete Restaurant. Let's call it that. Is that the football field? Stacy, how was your practice? Practice was good. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. We just had hills and stadiums. It wasn't even that bad, honestly. I rated like a, a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, like good. Like it was like a good, it was oh, okay, a good okay. workout. I'm going to see you guys when we get there. I was gonna tell you. What's up, say hi, guys. Hey, hi. Hi, <laughs> you guys have anything to say? Uh, training tables was really good today. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh <God. laughs> hey, how are you? You recording a video? Yeah. I'm gonna say hi. Say what's up. Hey yo, what up? You guys may be wondering why I'm outside right now at 8 p.m. But it's because I just ordered an electric scooter off of Amazon. I told you guys I was getting a scooter in my last day of my life vlog. We can't bring the scooters in the building, so I have to put it together outside. But yeah. Okay y'all. My camera it has no more battery, but ooh, this is what we're working with right now. I'm not gonna lie, I am beyond confused. In times like these, I really need my dad because he would know what to do. Me personally, I am very lost, but I'm gonna figure it out. Update, I'm getting somewhere. It's actually not that bad. YouTube is a really good source. If you guys want to know how to do anything, YouTube is going to hook y'all up. Isn't that crazy how I'm posting this video on YouTube talking about how YouTube is going to help you guys out? Kind of ironic, but anyway, I'm almost done. It really didn't take that long. It takes like five minutes. I just needed to watch a YouTube video on how to do it first. All right, guys, I'm about to test out the scooter. It was. Okay, there we go. I need to turn it on again. Whoa. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels good. Have not just saying woo. woo. Alright y'all, so right now it is currently 11.25 p.m. I will no longer ha be having to walk to class, thank God. That's a plus. But I want to show you guys the gear that we got today. Well, actually, I'm not sure how long ago we got this gear, but it was in my locker, so yeah. I'm lucky running out of space in my closet though, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put this stuff, but I'm going to give you guys a little rundown of all the stuff that we got. So. Here are some Nike shorts right here. I think these are a little too small for me. I probably should have got a medium, but we got these blue Nike shorts right here. Right, the next thing that we got was these black Nike tights right here. These are gonna be useful for when we start practicing outdoors and like it gets a little chilly outside. Ooh, these are nice. These have a zipper on the back too. I think these are more tights right here. 
the next thing that we got was another pair of black tights. These ones don't have zippers on them, but kind of like the last ones, but these ones have like a little bit different design. Oh, here is another pair of shorts. And then the last thing that we got was more black tights. And then we also got these Kentucky track and field shoelaces right here. I think these are for our spikes, I think. I'm about to open them up and show y'all. But these are really cool, actually. It says Kentucky track and field on it, and then it says always forward. But yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that we got. You want to say hi to my vlog? What's up with y'all, boys? Okay, guys, it is now bedtime. It is now 12.24 in the morning. Honestly, though, I'm probably not going to go to bed until, like, too because i have to edit a little bit of this video before i go to sleep but today was a really good day and it was a productive day i didn't get a chance to work on my three page paper but i'm gonna work on that tomorrow well really today because today is friday now but i'm gonna work on that because it's due on sunday at 11 59 i'm really excited about my hurdle journey here i'm literally learning something at practice every single day from the coaches so and that's a really good stepping stone for like improvement so i'm excited to keep learning from the coaches hurdle wise sprinting wise all that type of stuff that's my sign i need to wrap this outro up and hurry up and edit my video so that i can go to sleep make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you guys follow all my social medias down below i love y'all and i'm gonna catch y'all in my next one kenya is out this jump ah.